Wow, that's a beautiful sunrise. It's been a while since I've used shaders. In fact, it's been a while since I've seen any sort of a world like this. What are we doing, guys? Where are we? What? A white elm tree? Terra Firmacraft? No. I didn't do that to myself again, did I? Ha. <laughs> Javelin. Skeleton. That's right, guys. We are going to be doing a season two here of Terra Firmacraft. I've actually been... Oop. Um... Out and about for one day, just making sure things work. That seems really loud. Sure. Let's turn my volume up a little bit. I kind of like having volume in the background. That's better. Yes, yeah, season two. Uh, to do the things that we didn't do in the last one, to kind of have some fun with things here. And uh, I've made some changes to the game. Um, but I should see if things, yep, things are changed how I like them a little bit. I've added some new mods. We'll see some of the new mods here. I'm hoping my frame rate here doesn't struggle too much because Optifine doesn't seem to play well with the shaders mod. If I can get it working, I will. But as of right now, I can't. I uh, kind of wanted to check out this little lake here. Um, I haven't really explored the world at all. All I know is that we've got a lot of rock types in this area, which is really beneficial for us. Uh, frames are struggling a bit. There we go. Now we can get some water. Uh, there's a creeper on my map right near me. Might be in that hill. Ooh, what is this? Oh. Well, it goes right into a ravine. Perfect. Ah. Uh, um, so, I guess starting out here, it's going to be our little early on for survival here. And the reason I'm doing this too, I figure I should bring this up too. I feel like my field of view is not... There, that f feels better. Yeah, that feels a lot better. There's a few more lakes here. Oh, there's clay here. Clay would be good. Um, what we should probably do is start out with some napping here. No, I don't mean taking a nap. If you're familiar with um, Terraforma Craft at all, if, um, you'll understand what I'm doing here. Uh, I suppose we should have... What? I thought that was how you do a knife. Darn it, I screwed that up, didn't I? I do have any eye installed at least. Oh, so it has to be up on top, right? Well, that's just stupid. There. And if we do an axe blade, or an axe head, let's make sure we got this right. Okay, so that makes sense. So we should probably do this, and this, and then this, 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 this that, that. Perfect, we got an axe head. Uh, we don't have any sticks though, we should probably pick up some sticks. I don't see any sticks. So let's get some sticks. Um, so the reason we are doing this, there we go, two sticks, perfect. Is I'm, I feel like I've kind of burned myself out on, uh, on Minecraft, I've been struggling with my other series because there's something I've been trying to do there's a project I've been working on but it's just kind of been burning me out 
and uh, it's just not working out for me. Ooh, we got lava over there, which means we got sulfur. We got a lot of good resources in this area. I'm happy with that. So instead, I've kind of been looking at, well, let's let's kind of go back in time. Let's visit some old stuff that we've done. Um, ooh, hot springs. So I've wanted to get back into terra firma craft. This is an interesting little area right here. Um, I think I'm really tempted at some point here to bring back my original first series, which was ore spawn. I know there's been a lot of updates to that um, mod since I played it. And I think it might be fun to revisit things because, well, like I said, it was our first original mod pack that we did. My first uh, series that we did. And uh, it might be kind of fun to just, you know, revisit things. I really haven't found an area that I really like here. At least this will heal me up. I picked up something. Must have picked up a rock. Ooh. Okay, this area is not safe to be around. Looks like we got some, what, bigger trees over here. So, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the idea of me. <gasps> is this jute? Did we find jute right away? Are you kidding me? This is something that I've searched so long for when we've played in the past. I don't even remember if we found it or not. It's one of the most important plants you can get because it allows you to make rope. I think we did. Yeah, we found it at some point here. Wow. We have jute, guys. Ha. <laughs> All right. Um, I saw some crops over in this area here. We got rice growing, so that's not growing yet, or not grown yet. It's still not mature. I have Wayla this time around, which makes it really nice. Might be considered cheaty. Ooh, we got a big lake here in Plains. Oh, this is what I want here. Um, we've got another fruit tree. A green apple tree. Autumn to late autumn okay so we can't get apples right now which is understandable so we got a big lake here we've got tomatoes which are ready um, is there more oh there's some more so food is always one of your biggest things in uh, terra firma craft um, if you're not familiar with it, you should go check out my first season where we bumbled through it. Um, this time around, I feel like we're going to be a little more aggressive with it and uh, possibly do better, hopefully. There's gravel in there. This whole area doesn't look stable. It's all like fissures. Yeah, there's a neat little, uh, little lake area here. I think I see where I might want to do it or will make my little home base here on the map. Ooh, what are these? What can you use these for? Do they have a use? No, they're just flowers. Well then, to heck with it, I don't want it. Yeah, this little area right here in between the two lakes. Might be kind of a neat area. Um, oh, we're back to granite rock, which is good. Give you guys an idea of the map so far here. So what I figured out here is this is, uh, there's a lot of granite up through this area. It looks like we found more of the granite. Uh, this is where I spawned in. Just kind of been walking around uh, we've got sulfur and stuff down here, which is good, and a lot of hot springs, but I don't want to build anywhere near that. We've got mountains in here. We've got some good ravines we can look into here. Ooh, actually, right... Let's look over here quick. 
This is that area that I saw over here. You got pond. Pond grass. I don't think you can do anything with it. I wonder if you can cut the cattails and use it. I don't recall. Yeah, there's like a little hill here. Actually, it might be kind of neat to have this overlooking here. Man, we could set up our entire base here. We could put like a barn and stuff over here. We got the water. We've got plenty of fresh water. We can set up farms. I think we found home base, guys, without even trying to here. We've got white elm trees. We've got spruce trees. Um, I believe there was another tree around here. That's white elm still. We're going to have to search for more. Uh, oh, we got a lily pad here. Whee! I love seeing my shadow again. That's cool. So, yeah, I think we have found home base. Unfortunately, though, there's a bunch of stone in the way here. And we're going to need a pick to get rid of that. So, for now, we may have to uh, figure out how we want to do this. I do want to break some leaves here and try to get some saplings, some sticks. Uh, in terraforming craft, if you cut down the tree first, you won't get any saplings out of it. And it's almost nighttime too, so we're gonna have to be careful here. But I guess before we do anything else here. seven saplings that's really awesome um, we should probably make I don't even know how to do this part yeah no that's that's not how you do that um, let's actually look it up here this is why we have any eye right um, stone hoe well, I was close actually. So it's just like this. Oh, they made it so you can shift or just hold and click and go. And there we go. Uh, so let's make that quick. That's really cool. Uh, the reason I want to do this, we have crops. So let's get it growing here. Um, so maybe we have the chance to, let's see, I kind of like this area right down here. There we go. Yeah, let's get things growing so maybe we can actually get a crop out of them before uh, winter sets in. We're already starting to think about winter, unfortunately. So we got a little bit here, a little bit there. Let's eat some tomato. Oh, that's good. Good stuff. Now, it looks like we are getting some decay on it. 2% on that, two, yeah, a little bit. Uh, we do have some vegetable. Remember, we do need to, oh, do we get, oh, we got some agriculture, nice. Uh, we do have to keep these up if we want to keep our uh, health at 100%. Um, otherwise, we lose our health potential. And uh, the thing that I remember most about Terraformer Craft, of course, trees take forever to chop down. So we're going to have to set up some sort of a tree farm. And we get, what, two logs? Oh, six. Well, I need so bad. Uh, so this is some spruce. But it is nighttime. So I have lost all the color. I hear frogs. It's going to be dark. I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it is the next day. Um, I was having to hide here in the in the bushes, kind of uh, trying to avoid a zombie, which was trying to track me down. Luckily, you can go inside of the leaves and they won't see you. Um, I actually decided, I was thinking about it here, my only 
building blocks is basically these logs. Um, I can't make planks, I can't make cobblestone, I can't make regular stone. Um, I can make thatch, uh, which doesn't isn't the best thing for building because you know you can walk right through it, and so can the mobs. But what I was thinking. If I make a few of these blocks here, I dug out a bit of a little uh, hidey hole here. Um, place I can I can stay safe. If I do like this, I mean obviously it gets dark in here, but I think the ant or the the bad guys, the mobs, aren't going to come through there. Uh, to come get me hopefully unfortunately they probably could fall down through there and then I probably won't make it um, but then again if we need light which we're going to need light down here um, all you need to do is build ourselves a little fire so we want to get ourselves a fire starter and we're gonna need the sticks here and we're gonna throw Let's see, let's put it on the back side here because I think you can, uh, I think you get burned from these now. Maybe I wasn't holding it. There we go. So we have ourselves a little campfire here. And the best part is if we do this, and we throw some uh, sticks in there. We can start making torches. Um, throw a piece of wood in there too, keep it burning. There we go. Ooh. Um, I don't think I wanna, I guess you can cook. You can cook fruit, really. Can you cook veggies? Kinda looks like it's heating up. Oh yeah, see, sure enough. Let's toast some tomatoes. I don't know what it's going to do to change things. Not sweet, not sour, not salty, not anything. I'm kind of curious now. What's going to happen here? Is it just going to burn up on me? Oh, cooked tomato. Well, let's see if any of those taste things change. Medium, dark. Is there very dark before it burns up? Yeah, I like my I like my tomato very burnt. The best part is I don't think you can eat it. Uh, it's too, ooh, it's too hot. Oh, I did eat. Oh, and now it's gone. Well, now we know that we can eat burnt tomatoes. And we won't feel bad about it. But what I like is we've actually got torches. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to torches and terra firma craft, um, they burn out. Okay, so the shaders mod does create some light while you're holding it. That's good to know. Um, so what we can, but what we can do is we can relight stuff. Um, if you got a torch in your hand, what we need is some clay. We need some resources, is what it's going to come down to. And then I feel like we'll be in a pretty good spot here um, for starting out. Another one of these like fissures running through. Um, ooh, we've got yellow bell peppers, and they are mature, so I'm going to pick them. There's that Minecraft music. I don't remember this being a normal Minecraft music one, though. And all I'm doing here is combining the stacks, getting it all into one thing. So do I like these? No, not really. Um, 
also going to need another shovel, probably. It's starting to come back to me, um, the recipes. It's been quite a while since I... I played this, but, uh, yeah, it's starting to come back to me a little bit. Are these more bell peppers? They are. Nice. Uh, the next, one of the other things we're going to need here is we're going to have to find some copper. I was hoping to find some copper laying on the ground somewhere here. There's a zombie there and it's almost nighttime. I just heard a skeleton too. Skeleton is not good for us. Let's try to combine these. We got 11, 11 uh, seeds. That's really good. Oh, what do we got here? More of them? Okay, so I really hope we like uh, peppers because we seem to have a lot of peppers. It's almost half a stack worth right there. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh look, there's, oh gosh. There's so many of them here. There's also a giant ravine or something here. Probably don't wanna get you close to that. Well, I guess we made it all the way around to our little hidey hole here. There, we got over 100 ounces of bell peppers. I think food's okay right now. We're definitely gonna be okay on food for the moment. Um, fortunately, I don't have a good place to store anything. Uh, it does give you the ability to store stuff. I must have to go that way um, to get some clay. Should we do some nighttime exploring quick? It's probably a really bad idea. I know there was some clay just over this way. Luckily we do have light in our hand. And we do have a beacon when we get close to home. Right here should be some. Oh, but I don't want to dig that up. There's some right over there. Uh, basically you're looking for those yellow flowers. There goes the colors washing out. And all the mobs are going to start spawning like crazy. Oh, I think we're in trouble. Okay. Um, okay. No, we're not. We're not digging. Uh, we're not digging any clay right now. Oh, there's uh Skeleton right there. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Okay, we're gonna have to go hide. Um, in that case, I guess we're gonna have to start getting clay and stuff in the next episode, I think. But uh, before I sign off here, I figure I'll go over the the mob list for you guys really quick. So let's hide in here. Kind of figured that would have gone out, but I don't really need it right now. Uh, we should theoretically be safe in here, hopefully. And all we gotta do, I think, is uh, put a log in here, and then we can light it, and uh, shouldn't be a problem. Um, here, let me go over the mod list quick with you guys. Oh, really? I can't do that. Well, fine. We'll do it. We'll go over mod options then. No, these are the only ones that allow me to. Darn it. Well, let's see here. Off the top of my head. No, let's not go off the top of my head. Let's bring up the folder. I can quick bring up the folder for you guys. You can't see it, but I can see it. Oh, let's see here. Here we go. So, we have, obviously, Terraformer Craft. Uh, we've got Terraformer Stuff, which is... An add-on that adds some cool decorative things. Um, I've got 
Jerry from Craft Cellars, which is a neat storage mod for uh, for your food. Uh, you can actually build an underground cellar. Uh, we've got decorations, which adds in some nice decorative stuff, which goes along with carpenter's blocks. On top of that, we have BiblioCraft and Biblio Woods, which allows us to build a lot more things out of the wood here. Um, we've got Code Chicken Core, which runs NEI, which you're seeing all the different uh, um, items, how to build stuff. Um, got FastCraft, which is a behind the scenes mod for improving gameplay. I've got in game info XML, which is the stats on the left hand side, which I always use. I've got Journey Map, which is on the right side. Uh, which I always use. Um, got Project Red in here only because I need it to fix some lighting issues with the shaders. I have the shaders, obviously. I have Too Much Time, which is actually going to be a really cool mod. It changes the length of day and night um, in the gameplay itself. So right now in summer, I think we have longer days. I feel like he's going to start tracking me. Um, and then in the uh, winter time, when we get to that point, uh, the night times will be much longer. Yeah, he's tracking me. Okay, we are going to go underground then. And if he comes down here... I feel like he's tracking me through the thatch. Yep, he is. We're just going to hang out in the same block space here, and, um, actually, aren't you, like, three high? How are you able to, uh, to get through there? Wait, can I use this? And I don't feel like I'm doing much damage to you. How about this? I feel like I'd be better off hitting him over the head with a frickin' shovel. So I'm going to lose my uh, axe here. Well, we can always make a couple uh, axe heads here, right? At least I remember how to do that, right? Go right here, 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 and here. Let's make two axes and let's beat the crap out of this skeleton. And he will never... Oh, I want my sticks. Don't throw my sticks. He will never see it coming. I can see the health on the top of the screen is what I'm going off of. Now, there's two styles of weapons in Terraform Craft. You have slashing, which I think is what I'm using. And then you have uh, crushing. And obviously with bones, skeletons, uh, crushing is your ideal weapon of choice. And that's not what I have. See, this is slashing. Um, it is doing 60 damage, though, which is pretty good. Oh, and experience actually helps out my max health, too. Perfect. Um, looks like daytime is approaching here. With that, I am going to go try to dig up some uh, clay. But uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to try to track down some, uh, not some creepers. I really don't want creepers. Uh, some copper around here. And uh, see if we can get some, some better tools here starting out um, off the bat in the next episode. So if we can get some, uh, get some tools, at least some copper stuff so that we can get... Uh, um, a saw so we can actually start cutting up the wood we can actually start laying out some sort of a um, a floor and everything and a rest of a building obviously there's my clay but uh, we'll do that in the next episode so thank you all for watching and as always, where are you? I can hear you.
Oh, you're down there. Take it easy.